What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be discussing the right age to start locks on children and whether starting locks on children causes any damage to their hairline. So let's get into it. So recently I had someone left a comment asking what age do I recommend starting locks on children? Now, in my personal opinion, I would say you can start a child's lock journey as young as three years old, but I would personally recommend starting their lock journey from five years onwards. Now, there is no specific science behind my recommendation, but the reason I recommend starting a child's lock journey at five years old has more to do with the peace of mind for the parent. Most people are under the impression that starting locks on children could cause damage to their hairline in terms of it thinning out or receding as the child continues to grow. Now, although I can understand their concerns, thinning of the hairline comes down to how the hair is cared for. For example, if you're retwisting or retightening the hair too often, whether you are a child or an adult, this can cause the hair to thin. Now with concerns relating to the hairline receding because of the child's growth, I would say this isn't something to worry too much about because as you can see in these footage and photos, none of my children's hairline had receded or thinned out over the course of their lock journey. Now I started my oldest son's lock journey when he was four years old and I maintained his locks for five years. And as the years progressed, his hairline never thinned out or started receding. And I started my second oldest child's locks when he was just about to turn three years old and I maintained his locks for two and a half years and even after combing out his locks, his hairline was still intact. Yes, as children grow and get older, their head circumference does increase, but please bear in mind that they also grow more hair follicles, which produces more hair strands, which in turn fill in any gaps or spaces across the surface area of their head. So the idea that their hairline would recede as they continue to grow wouldn't necessarily be the case because as mentioned, as they continue to grow, they will produce more hair follicles which produces more hair strands which in turn fill in any gaps or spaces across the surface area of their head. And the idea that their hairline would thin out as they continue to grow has more to do with how you maintain their locks throughout their lock journey. Remember to check the cards listed above and in the description bar below for similar videos like this one and also go ahead and like, comment, share and subscribe if you found my content very helpful. So until next week Sunday at 6pm, we will be right back here with another video.